Hello, I'm Virtual SG, and I'm going to talk about image resolution options in Clip Studio Paint. Now, I'm about to make some broad statements here, but I don't want to bore you with a two hour lecture on this subject. I just want to give you the most basic information so you can enjoy drawing and painting instead of worrying about whether you've chosen the correct resolution settings. So let's begin. This is a pixel. This is a resolution dot. The resolution dot is not a fixed construct. It goes by other names depending on the printing process, and there are several printing processes, but all printing machines have one thing in common. They render images onto surfaces, and make no mistake, that is entirely different from zeros and ones inside a computer telling a display monitor to light up pixels. Pixels live in display monitors. Resolution dots don't even exist until they've been applied to a surface. Now this is Clip Studio Paint's dot pen. You cannot resize this tool. It makes a mark that is one pixel in size. Now I'm going to make one dot with this, and that means that I've defined a single pixel. And if I zoom all the way in on this pixel, you can see that I cannot represent a resolution dot like in that animation, because I can't make anything smaller than a pixel. Now, rather than make a two hour video about how pixels are used to represent DPI, I'll offer you this link as a starting point for your own journey to understand this whole thing to your own satisfaction. As for what I am trying to say in this video, let me put it this way. The printing machine wants a size. It's really that simple. If I want to make a comic book, for example, am I going to make it something like 2,319 pixels by 3,588 pixels? How big is that? Why would I even say something like that? I mean, even if I did the math to figure it out, it makes no sense. What size is it supposed to be? The printing machine wants exactly the same information. It doesn't want pixel information because pixels are not size information. They are display monitor information. You worry about pixels when you export a digital copy of your art, where pixel resolution actually means something. And now I'm going to create something. I'm going to make a movie poster. This is going to be a fan art poster for an old B-movie that I like called It, it Conquered, Conquered the World. you can hear me or not, but if you can, you listen good. I hate your living guts for what you've done to my husband and my world. I know you for the coward you are, and I'm going to kill you. Do you hear that? I'm going to kill you. And I happen to know what the standard size for a movie poster is. So the first thing I want to do is talk to my good buddy, the unit selector, and I choose inches. Now, if you're more comfortable with the metric system, you'd of course choose centimeters, but I grew up in America and I like inches. So this poster is going to be 27 by 40 inches. And I'm not gonna go over all these manufacturing specs that need to be addressed if this was for real because I wanna stay on topic. So 27 by 40 inches, right? Inches, that means this resolution setting is important. So let's consider this. Now I'm gonna do my minimalist cartoony style. Simple illustration like this. So the resolution doesn't need to be very high. And really, the bottom line is 600 is a fine resolution for most things. Now, if I planned on using photographs or doing a really nice painting like this amazing thing, I'd choose 1200 or maybe even type in 1600. But I'm not going to need that kind of resolution for this. So for this style, 600 DPI is plenty. There's no fine detail in this. And 600 DPI works for most situations, actually. For just about anything smaller than a movie poster, 600 is pretty much what I want. So I've considered my resolution and I know 600 DPI is for me. Now, with something the size of a comic book, 350 will work fine. Unless I planned on creating artwork like this, then I would probably go for 450, 500. I'd probably just go with 600. If I was gonna do something the size of a postcard or an index card, something around that size, 600 is probably gonna be overkill. Just like 1200 would be overkill for a comic book. 1200 would be overkill for this particular poster. But that's not to say it would be wrong if my resolution is really high. It's not 
There's no such thing as too high, it's just that it would be unnecessary and I'd have this huge file for no reason. On the other hand, if my resolution is low, yes, too low is a thing, and it leads to problems like we saw in the part 2 video. And really, that's the end of this video. That's how you make decisions about image resolution. You just have to know enough not to confuse it with pixel resolution and do some experimentation. But before I wrap up, let me show you the finished poster. And if I check its 100% pixel size, you can see that it's gigantic. I mean, look at this, the word it doesn't even fit on my 22 inch monitor. Now I'll check the view print size. And it's still huge, but this is a movie poster after all. If you can imagine it, this is a representation of its actual size. The pixel size view is so much bigger because the computer needs that many pixels to represent the precision of resolution dots. So in keeping with this exercise, I'm going to save this image as a TIFF file because that is industry standard. TIFF is a file type that preserves all the information required by the commercial printing process. Oh, but hold on, I do want to share this image online, so what do I do? Well, I simply save a JPEG version. But uh, it's ridiculous to share an image this big online. So I'll use the export function. That way I can make it smaller. I'll go to specify size. Change this to pixels and look at that. 16,000 by 24,000 pixels. It really is ginormous. I think I'll set my width for 900. And as you can see, Clip Studio Paint changes everything to maintain your proportions, which makes things a lot easier. So 900 by 1333. That's a pretty big computer image, but not so out of control that your average website won't even let you upload it. If I want a smaller version, I make it smaller. How about 500? So that's all I have for you. I hope you got something out of it. Again, I'm glossing over a whole bunch of technical realities, but that's why you should do some research and experimentation for yourself. I could make this whole channel about resolution and never exhaust the subject. But that's not what I'm trying to do here. So check out the link, I put it in the description, and best of luck to you on your journey to understand image resolution in the digital age. <laughs>